Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different on the sawmill, but before we get started, I have a calendar order to package up. So follow me into the shop and I'll show you how I do it. One of our loyal subscribers, Mike Walker, ordered a calendar. If you order a calendar from us, I personally sign each and every one of them. So thank you, Mike, for ordering a calendar. I'm going to sign it right now and we'll ship it out today. Don't forget to order your Triple L Rustic Designs calendar. There's only a handful left, and I personally sign each and every one that's ordered, so you can order yours at the link in the description below or tlrds.com. Before I get started today, I need your help. You guys only watch my videos for an average of three minutes, which is pretty sad. So today, we're gonna play a game to try to get that watch duration up a little bit. Somewhere throughout this video, I'm gonna put a code on the screen for one second. When you see that code, make sure you email that code to zoe at tlrds.com. On Saturday, February 10th, I'm going to pick a winner out of all the entries and you are going to receive a free, personally signed Triple L Rustic Designs calendar. So make sure you pay attention throughout this entire video and good luck. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how we make bowl blanks here at the shop on our sawmill. We've never showed you guys how we do this on video yet, but we have a lot of people coming into the shop asking for bowl blanks, so we figured this is the perfect time to show you guys. Right beside me, I have four different wood species. I have camphor, cherry, monkey pod, and cedar. So we're gonna cut all of these into bowl blanks. It's super simple, but I'll walk you through the process. Follow me over here and I'll show you how. Before I put my log up here on the sawmill, I'm gonna put my log stops up so the log does not roll off the sawmill. All right, now I'm gonna go get the log. Cutting these bowl blanks is pretty simple. It's really only three cuts. I'm gonna cut a flat spot on top, and then I'm gonna cut the log directly in half, and then I'm gonna flip the log over and cut another flat spot on the bottom. It'll make a lot more sense once I show you here in a second. All right, that was one section of the bowl blanks. I'm gonna get this half off and then I'll flip over the other half and we'll do our final cut. All right, very nice.
We just made our final cut on this log. And these bull blanks should be done or ready to go. Okay, one log down. All done with this log. Okay. All right, monkey pot is all finished. Now it's time for the cherry.
That was our last log. Let's take her off the sawmill. There's gonna be some good bowl blanks. Some of you guys might be thinking, that doesn't look like a bowl blank, but we still have one more step to do. So we're gonna load these up onto the tractor and bring them over to the barn. The last step in making these bowl blanks is putting these slabs up on the miter saw and cutting them into bowl blank sections. All right guys, so this is what an, a bowl blank would look like. This is an eight inch monkey pod bowl blank. What someone will do is attach this flat side to the lathe and then carve out this side into the bowl. So I'm gonna set this aside and grab another species of wood and cut those into bowl blanks as well so you can see what they look like. Now these two are eight inch cedar bowl blanks. So again, someone would attach this side to the lathe and they can dig out this side to be a beautiful bowl. These will sell um, at a shop also for $10. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. As you can see, I have three different species of bowl blanks here. I have monkey pod, I have cedar, and I have camphor. Camphor is a fan favorite and it's my favorite as well, but all these are gonna make beautiful bowls. As always guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. Also, if you caught the secret code, make sure you email that to zoe at tlrds.com. If you didn't, I guess you gotta rewatch the video. We'll see you on the next one.